when you want to look at DNA itself and, and investigate the myth that humans and chimps share 99% of the DNA. So many people have heard that maybe it's been framed as a 98% uh, similarity to some people it's 99%. But if you were to ask leading scientists today that don't believe in creation, don't believe in the Bible, they would admit that's not what they teach anymore. That's not the truth. That's a myth. No one in their right mind holds to the 98 or 99% idea anymore. Uh, they would admit that that 99% came from cherry picked data. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you take the human genome and stretch it out, it's about 3 billion base pairs. Well, the chimp genome is about 4% larger than the human genome. It has more letters in it. And if you were to take the human genome and just stretch it out with all the DNA letters, and then the chimp genome and stretch it out with all of its DNA letters, if you were to take just certain sections and segments and cherry pick certain sections of, and segments, you could get 100% similarity if you reduced it, if you threw out all the areas that were dissimilar. But what they did is they took the sections that they could align and those were the areas that were 99 or 98 to 99 percent similar so but what did they have to do to, to do that to come up with that 98 to 99 percent similarity well they had to take 25 percent so one quarter of the human genome and throw it out and 18 percent of the chimp genome and throw it out and if you discard a quarter of our genome and roughly a fifth of the chimp genome. Well then, if you dive into the strings and letters and compare them, maybe now we can extract 98 to 99% similarity. But do you see what just happened? That's an incredible magic act to, to do that. In fact, a more honest comparisons when you make, make a comparison between it now would be in the low 80%. But we're also highly similar to many different animals and including uh, especially the mammals, uh, the mammal kinds, because we have similar biochemistries and similar features that we need to live on this planet. So of course, the grand designer who created the DNA code, the programming language for life that is that goes from the DNA letters to the 16,000 genes or so that are coding uh, what we look like today, it's that designer who used similar codes to build similar species but the 99 percent idea is just a myth and honest scientists today would would tell you that